Here's what this means for you, for the economy, for national security, for daily life. If China cuts off rare earth exports, the global economy stops, not slows, stops. No new iPhones, no new EVs, no new wind turbines. Existing electronics manufacturing shuts down within months. Supply chains collapse. Companies like Apple, Tesla, Samsung, they all depend on Chinese rare earths. Without supply, production halts, stock markets crash. For national security, the US military cannot function without rare earths. If China cuts us off, we cannot build new weapons. The F-35 program stops, missile production stops. The technological edge the US military depends on, precision guidance, stealth, advanced sensors, all require rare earths. And we're dependent on China for them. That's a strategic catastrophe. For daily life, imagine your phone breaks. You can't replace it. You can't buy an EV. Your laptop dies. No new computers available. That's what rare earth cutoff looks like. The modern world doesn't function without them. Now here's the question everyone asks. Can't we just find alternatives? Can't we mine our own? Can't we break free? The answer is yes, but not soon. Mining is possible. The US, Australia, Canada, and others have rare earth deposits. Mountain Pass is operating again. New mines are being developed. But mining is only half the problem. Processing is the bottleneck. And building processing capacity takes a decade. China spent 30 years building their processing infrastructure. We're trying to do it in 10. Maybe we succeed. But in the meantime, we're vulnerable. Alternatives are limited. Researchers are looking for substitutes, magnets that don't require rare earths, screens that use different materials, but the technology isn't there yet. And even if breakthroughs happen, commercialization takes years. Recycling helps. Rare earths can be recovered from old electronics, but recycling infrastructure barely exists, and recycling alone can't meet demand. The US produces 1.5 million tons of electronic waste per year. We recycle less than 1% of the rare earths in it. The rest goes to landfills or get shipped to China, where they recover the rare earths and sell them back to us. Here's the brutal truth. The US and the West made a strategic mistake. We let China gain monopoly control of a resource we knew was essential. We did it because it was cheaper in the short term. We outsourced production. We shut down domestic capacity. We became dependent. And now we're paying the price. China didn't just get lucky. They planned this. In the 1990s, Deng Xiaoping said, the Middle East has oil, China has rare earths. He understood the strategic value, and China invested accordingly. They built the mines, they built the processing plants, they subsidized production until competitors went out of business. They secured monopoly control. And now they have leverage, the same leverage Britain had with coal, the same leverage America had with oil, the same leverage OPEC had with oil prices. Control of a strategic resource creates superpower status, and China has control.